Hi everyone. So if you look closely, you might notice the front sitting a little lower. And that's because... We've got all these batteries in there. So in this video, I'll show how this all came to be. How we went from having just the cradle to having it bolted in and mounted pretty solidly. Put the batteries in there. Um, and a little bit of work for the next battery pack. So with the mock-up we did in the car, we clamped it all together and then marked where these holes are going to go to secure the battery cradle to the bottom bracket. And now we're putting in rivet nuts in each place where the bottom cradle or the, the bottom bracket intersects with the battery cradle. So we've got this rivet nut tool here. You just stick that in the right size hole and, and squeeze the handles together. Unscrew it. And there's the rivet nut. So this thing's been bolted in. Those rivet nuts, I've got some bolts on the bottom and then also the bolts on the back and front. And I move a lot more than it does now that it's bolted in, which should be helpful when figuring out how to construct the side mounts that will hopefully bear most of the weight. So we've got a minor problem with the way we want to bolt some stuff up, which is that this surface here is not really flat. And these bolts are not straight relative to this surface. So trying to bolt a plate on there means that these are at an angle and they don't thread in. So the plan is more or less just whack these with a big hammer or put a bolt in there with a nut like that, whack it with a big hammer and that'll bend it the little bit we need to make it line up. That's enough. Uh, where's the ruler? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty damn close. With just that little bit of hammering, we were able to put in this bracket. This is an old piece of aluminum we had lying around. There's a little bit of a gap there, so we'll work on some spacers next. But other than that, it fits pretty good. All the bolts go where they should, and there's supposed to be a fourth larger bolt in the back there, but that bolt settles right on the edge of this thing, so we can't do that. All right, spacing problem's fixed. We just took a piece of galvanized pipe and chopped it up on the bandsaw, and that forms the spacers. All right, here we are cutting out more shit that's in our way. Just the tab or this? I would cut this whole thing out. Okay. That'll let us move that fuse box over a little bit uh, so it can clear the actual battery stuff. We bolted on these two bars in order to weld on a bracket for connecting it to the motor mount. And unfortunately, in our haste to get these things attached last night, we put them on the wrong end of the cradle. So the plan to fix that is pretty straightforward. The holes in the center of the frame here are in the center of the beam, so we should be able to basically just flip them to the other side and drill a couple new holes, and then we'll have two extras. So we're gonna weld up the support plate here to this part of the bracket, and what we've done basically is just cut a square piece out and then welded it tangent to this piece of tubing. And then this tubing goes around the bolt that came factory. And all we did was cut it square, just to the right length, and now it lines up perfectly with both tangent to here and right on that corner. So for now we're just gonna tack it in. Just like that. 
So we cut this bottom part off of just a random piece from the scrap bin, and the remaining cutoff piece just so happens to be the exact size we need to make this top part. Ready? Yep. We're boxing in this support that we tacked up previously, and we've made basically two of these to put in the ends, and they fit pretty much just like that. The back piece fits on top instead because we have room up there, but we don't up here, so we're putting it sort of inside the triangle. Here's the bracket boxed in and everything, all welded up. So now that all of the brackets are ready to take some weight, we're going to put the batteries actually in the cradle. To get the batteries in the cradle, we've set up our ceiling hoist with chains and this bar here and then a bunch of ratchet straps. And that way it distributes the lifting force more evenly over the length of the battery. Pack. That should be enough. The bar looks, looks okay. Feels solid. What's that? I think these. I think the thing is. Oh, ooh. What? A lot of them down here. Oh, okay. So let's try to slip the sheet in there and then see if we can't crowbar it over. I think so. Set it down. 
thought he was doing that for safety. Uh, I figured we would at least get get it so that it was touching those just for safety. You don't have to take all the weight off. That's not gonna. There you go. It's good. Yeah, you can see find a way to grip that side. I, I would just leave it and let me just get it loose and get the next nut on there. We can just readjust it. Okay, I got it. I don't think I lost much here. No, I don't think you really moved. Are you on flushness? Because I feel like I'm adequate. Your side could stick out quite a bit, though. Yeah. So you could screw it in a little bit if you need to get rid of some. Yeah, that's alright. Alright, it's tight. Okay. sides and lower it or something. This bits in there still easy. So I think the way to put it in with the rubber would be to glue it to those panels and then yeah. lower it. Because then we can cover it with uh, soap or, soap or something. whatever. And it's actually not badly uh, twisted or anything here. I mean, look at it. Mm -hmm. If you, you want we could probably get half of this in there. Yeah. That'd be good enough for now. Oh, maybe not. Uh, uh, well, there are ways to pull this out. Right. Here, why don't you cut this? All right, here it is up on some bathroom scales. We added them up, and it's 545 pounds, according to these. They're not great, but that should be reasonably close. Um, so the plan now is to basically nose the car into the shop, lift this thing, push the car under it, and then put it in the car and see what happens. All right, here we are. Maybe doing something stupid, maybe not. Time is... The time has finally come to put this battery pack in this car, so we're going to have to winch it way up, roll the car underneath it, and then let it back down again. We are almost perfect. What do we need to do? Nothing. Okay, well then we need to block it up. No, I can hold it with my body. Let this thing down. Come let, okay. Oh, maybe not. We'll get a block. 
Yeah, I can't really hold it here. Just put it right there. There you go. That's okay. close enough. Yeah, we are right on target, man. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I don't, well, I don't know. I can't, I, I don't recall where this, oh, shit. What? Did we put the big bolts in here? No, we didn't. All right, well, let's at least get it down. Yeah, good. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. And can we do that now? I guess there's no room. Oh, your hand. Oh, there. maybe, yeah. Hold on, I gotta lift it up because it needs to go towards you a little bit. Oops. Oh. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do that anyways to get the bolts in the bottom, probably, because it, mm -hmm. it might be askew or something. Right. Uh, and we should probably lift it up to get some weight off it to uh, uh, put these side bolts in. So hey, the uh, springs actually sit in a pretty okay spot. So yeah, there you go. Shit. Yeah, well, here it is in the engine bay for real. We've really gone and done it this time. got that pin in there uh, I don't have any of the bolts in on the bottom so it may be a little bit off where it's supposed to be but it's very close now right that's like exactly what we planned right uh, yeah, I, think so. I, I think it seems a little more forward than I thought mm. but by the time we get the case on there I think it'll be fine right and there's just plenty of room back here for other yeah stuff. pumps and yep. AC and so yeah, there it is. All right, it's now fully down. Uh, all the bolts underneath are in and they went in pretty easy, so that's all good and lined up. The uh, This side mount here, there's still some bolts under there that we didn't put in, so we're gonna have to put those in next time we take it out, as well as drilling the bolts in this surface to secure this angle bracket to the one below it. This side went in really well, as did the center. Here's the interior with most of the stuff out of it. And this white cardboard thing represents the sort of size of the rear battery pack. Eventually we're going to make some brackets and stuff so it sits up a little higher, probably here-ish so that it is level but still fits in the back. But we'll be working on that probably next. So thanks for watching.